Yeah. All right. Hi, I'm Max. I'm Lily. I'm Rebecca. I'm Isabella. And I'm also Rebecca. And we are Opportunities. Our programs in schools often in danger of being cut. That was the title of one of Washington Post, Washington Times article. It highlights the fact a growing problem of our departments that are lacking funding and are unable to stay open, which in turn leads to this problem. That is, our students, or people enrolled in our classes, are in turn losing the ability to go out and make this art. Ultimately, this both impacts them, one, from a student standpoint, due to the fact that they're losing an ability to participate in extracurricular activities, and two, it impacts them due to the fact that it helps them kind of let out their creative abilities as well at the same time, helps them relieve stress. Ultimately, our solution to these problems is opportunities, teased by teens for teens. What we're going to be doing is taking art from artists and putting it onto t-shirts. Ultimately, by doing this, we will be getting artists art exposed while at the same time we will be taking a portion of the revenue that we make from our t-shirts to be exact 5%. We will be giving 5% per t-shirt back to the art department in which the artist came from as well as 5% to the artist per shirt. Ultimately, our customer segments for this uh, solution is art departments. We are already currently um, involved in four art department programs and mainly this is going to be a huge customer segment to us due to the fact that they are going to be the, uh, that's how they're, they're going to be the ones sourcing the art to us. In other words, they're going to encourage the students to submit their students' art through our website, which we will get into later. Now the main customer segment is teenagers. That is probably our main one in which we are looking to sell to due to the fact that they are the classmates of these artists that will be submitting the art. On top of that, the designs that we are looking to um, have up on our website is kind of hip looking designs that we know based on interviews they will be interested in. On top of that, um, another main customer segment is young adults, mainly ages 20 to 25, and we believe they will be interested in our product due to the fact that they're still kind of in that have hip range. Okay, so we do have some competitors. Here are five of them, but out of these five, these are the two biggest competitors. Ink to the People is a website that artists can just submit designs and the, they'll put it on their website and they'll sell it for the artist and give the artist back some money. Now, Threadless is like our company, except they're selling their shirts cheaper. But um, uh, this customer who bought a shirt from Threadless was not very happy because their material is not nice and they think it is like thin material and they would like better material. So we thought, hmm, how can we make our product better than theirs and get more money for it? So we are deciding that we want to get better quality t-shirts so you want to wear this t-shirt and it's comfortable for you. And we also are going to take part of our profits and we are going to donate to an art department that is failing so that that's another thing why somebody would want to buy our t-shirt to give back to failing art departments. So now we have our total addressable market. Um, we got that number by finding 15 million students in all of the United States enrolled in high school. And then we took 40% um, of those that are actually enrolled in the arts, so our clubs or programs or um, classes at school. And then we also um, multiply that by $20, our um, t-shirt price. And then our serviceable um, market size is 1.6 million. Um, we got that from the students just in Illinois. So, um, and then we took 40% again from the students that are actually enrolled in our classes or our clubs. And then we have our first year market share, which is 60,000 from um, just the schools that we have already contacted. Um, so, 60, 000, so we have 100,000 um, actual students from these four schools that we've already contacted. And the schools that we have are um, Barrington High School, um, Jacobs High School, Dundee Crown, and Hoffman Estates. We've already contacted, emailed, and talked to these schools to have permission to send our flyers out and market it. So the main way we're we'll be gaining our revenue is through the shirt sold. And each shirt will be sold at $20. The number of units sold that we have estimated for our first year is roughly uh, 2,800 shirts. And after five years, <coughs> it's around 13,700 shirts. And our cost is going to be 1079 per unit. And that's going to be including the cost of our t-shirt, um, the ink that we're going to be using, because each shirt, we're going to allow the artist to choose two to three colors to put on the shirts. 
and um, the 5% going to the artists, along with an additional 5% going to our departments. And our SGMA during our first year is around $6,000, $6, and after five years, it be $8,000. The pricing strategy we're going to be using is anchor pricing. Each design is going to be limited edition, so they're going to be changing up every few weeks or so with different designs. And our channels are going to be direct, so we're going to have an online shop <coughs> and kiosk here at Brickton High School. Um, we're going to be uh, marketing for our customers through Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and flyers. The flyers are mostly going to be at the other high schools. Uh, it'll be an easier way for them to know the parameters of our company, like what's required for the art and um, sizes and everything to be put on the t-shirt. So for our, our MVP, we're going to dive right in. We're going to start selling our t-shirts. Um, we're going to be marketing at the four schools that we have and we're collecting uh, the designs from those four schools. Then we're going to be putting the designs on our own heat press that we're hopefully going to buy. Um, and as you can see, this is one design that um, we may start printing. Um, now, if we do buy our own heat press, it will save us $3, whereas if we went through another uh, t-shirt company, they would charge us for their labor and um, shipping, where for our MVP, we're not going to be uh, having our labor or shipping cost because we're going to be either having a high school uh, drop-off pickup uh, like t-shirt place or um, we're going to be driving around uh, delivering the t-shirts. So our website is a major factor in MVP, mainly due to the fact that one, through our website, the digitally submitted art will be submitted through our website, as well as this is how we are hopefully going to make most of our sales. <clears throat> this is ultimately an outline of what we have so far on our website. This is kind of the homepage, and from here, if you were to click there, you'd be able to access the shop page. And then if you were to scroll down from here, uh, you could also access the shop page simply by clicking here on the shop, the collection. Then here is kind of why in a few minutes we will be asking for money for the website, and that is because for this uh, particular um, company that we're using to use to create our website, we need an upgrade in order to have uh, fully integrated e-commerce, in other words, be able to sell online, and therefore we will in a few minutes be asking for money for a website. And here is where we are hoping for artists to submit their designs, and we are going to ask for their emails so that if they are, their design is selected, we will be able to contact them and let them know that they have been chosen. And then here's an About Us page I'll be telling the uh, customers as well as the artists why we're doing this. So the key metrics that we're going to measure are uh, the number of designs that are submitted from different high school students and different uh, high schools, as well as the number of shirts that are sold. Now, uh, for this MVP, we're going to be asking for $365. We got this price from $139 of that is uh, from the heat press. Uh, 34 of that is from flyers that we're going to be using to market around uh, the high schools we have. $12 is a Teflon paper that we need to put over the heat press so it doesn't burn the material of the shirt. $75 of that is um, t-shirts that we're hoping to buy right away um, so we don't have to um, wait for orders, we could just send the shipment of t-shirts out as we get them. And then 105 of that is the upgrade that Max uh, mentioned earlier. Now this price is going to be paid for within uh, 60 shirts of that we, sold, that we sell. Now, and the timeline is from February 10th through 18th, we're going to finish the website and purchase the heat press. From, at, on February 19th, we're hoping to have a Barrington High School kiosk in the lunch room to um, display our company. Uh, February 19th through the April 20th, we're going to be fulfilling orders, shipping them out, and then from April 21st to May 1st, we're going to analyze the MVP quantitative and qualitative. So we are opportunities teased by teens for teens, and thank you for your time. So if someone submits a design and you only have one order for that design, will you do that? Um, you mean like one person buying it? Like right. Oh. Well, we are going to be choosing the uh, art based on whether it's appropriate or not, as well as what we feel kind of fits the. Uh, our interview needs. So we've interviewed our customers and they've kind of suggested what they'd be interested in purchasing. So we'll select the art. And yes, if that design is chosen and one person purchases it, we will have that uh, one shirt per, uh, make.
Okay, I and mean, the reason I ask that is to understand if you've got a minimum quantity to make it worth your time. Well, originally we did, but we figured we wanted to fit the customer's needs more than ours, because so we were going to start at 30, but we realized that that's we wanted to fit more the customer's needs rather than ours, as I just previously stated. So therefore, we're going to choose the top 10 from the school, the five, four schools that we are currently in enrolled in, and we are going to, if that design is chosen, then yes, we will have one design created if that's the only one. Making one on demand with your heat press. One shirt's ordered, then you make it on the heat press. Yes. Mm -hmm. And ship it out, and then, so you're just, yeah. That's another bonus. Are you price. familiar with bucket feet? Yes, yes. that's actually that where you took the model? Like, yes, sort of. Yes, in a way. It's, it's exactly what bucket feet is, only for teachers, right? Well, in a sense, yes, but we are also not only giving money to the artists, but we're also giving money to the art departments that are failing. So okay. we're are you helping. Profit, with your are you a for-profit company or a non-profit? We're us. Is it, is it called like a social? Uh, it's a split in between. Social cause. Social cause. Social cause. I mean, but you're for profit, you'll yeah. pay taxes. Yeah. So go back to your cost of goods sold and just get us an idea of how much money is going to the to art department per shirt, how much is going to the artist per shirt, and how much is going to the actual product. So per per shirt, um, there's going to be a dollar going to um, the art department, a dollar going to the artist, and then around. Seven dollars, I believe. Seven or eight, to the seven or eight dollars, actually making the shirt. It's about six. Mm -hmm. like seven or eight dollars actually making the shirt, including the cost of the shirt itself. Yeah, that's including the cost of the shirt and the printing of the shirt. And ultimately, okay. we're asking for the heat press because that'll greatly reduce the costs or our costs due to the fact that we'll be actually creating the shirts ourselves. So and how much do you need per shirt then? What's your profit? Ten dollars. Twelve bucks. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now it's a okay. dollar for the art department, a dollar for the. Uh, That's in the ten cents. Eight dollars for sure. Right? Just twenty minus yeah. ten seventy nine. I'll say that. It's Sorry. twenty minus ten seventy nine, <laughs> right? This is what you're making for sure. Yes. yes. Eleven yes. Bucks. Yes. or nine bucks. Because that factors in also the donations we are going to be donating to both and colleges. Oh, okay. And so yes. you factor that in. Yes. Yes. Well, it's. What you love about this is like this is how simple it is. Yes. You know, yeah, there's not a lot of capital. Our heat presses is only are only 139 dollars. Yeah, we did a lot of research on that. So yeah. sure. that was um, and that wasn't the cheapest they went. I picked one that I saw good reviews on. There, they could be a lot more expensive. They could be a lot more in, yeah. inexpensive. This one I found uh, looks yeah. perfect for us. And we're also um, inexperienced with it. We actually. Um, went down to the Barrington one that we have here at the school and we um, went through a tutorial and know how to use it and everything, so. How comfortable, not that this is a ton of money, but just, what's your confidence in being able to sell 60 shirts where in essence that's where we get our money back? Mm -hmm. yes. Are you like, hey, I, it feels like we can do it, but we have no evidence? Yeah. Or, gosh, it's a no-brainer, we've already talked to da-da-da-da. Mm -hmm. Or we, let's say, we have no idea. We conducted a lot of um, uh, solution interviews. A lot of them were with artists, and they really liked the idea. And that was just like at Barrington, and with four other schools, I think we'll be able to. Yeah, uh, because we're already, we already we already have. We're yeah. actually like in these four other schools. Like yeah. they're already talk, talking with their artists. Like they're more than about this. So the artists though are the source of the design. Yes. When you were sizing up your uh, service addressable market. You took the number of students, 15 million, and then you said 40% of them are in the arts. Well, or actually, we, um, it's, our service addressable market is uh, high school students in the arts in Illinois. Okay, so here's, I think, what would happen if this is a, there's more, um, the people that will actually buy the shirts don't necessarily be, have to be in the same cohort, the artist cohort. I mean, you're going to get parents that are going to buy it. Yeah. You're going to get yeah. non. You're going to get athletes that are buy it. The artists, because we're paying them per shirt, they therefore have incentive to go out and sell the shirts. So, just um, our main market is the. Yeah, but they'll sell them too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos would probably wear one of those shirts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another reason why we're really. If it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so another reason why we're really confident is we actually already have um, an Instagram. We have 198 followers. 
And we have a link in our bio um, going to a Google form that actually um, lets them enter their, enter their email. And we have 35 emails so far for when we get our um, t-shirts going and getting them, like all the designs, and we can send an email out and get our people customers. that are interested. One thing, I don't, I don't think this is necessarily MVP, but it would be, I think, important eventually, is maybe on the back of the shirt, there's just a very small little logo about opportunities or something. So you know you're wearing an opportunity shirt, because otherwise if it's just the artist's work, and you also, have branding going on for yourself. This is something I forgot to mention. We're planning on um, having artists fill out a resume with the submitted art, if it's an option for them. But this way, when somebody purchases it, we can kind of also have a typed out resume of them in case oh, somebody's like interested. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, about the gonna, artist? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. I was going to ask, is the artist thing going to be on the t shirt? I have not. They'll have it on the website. Yeah, they can sign the artwork. Yeah. And that's actually something that we recommend for those signs. Because they don't want to be copywriters. Yeah. I don't know if this matters or not either, but packaging is could be really important here. Yeah, and I'm not talking about a lot of money, but how a t-shirt comes to you yeah. gives it, yeah. Yeah. like whether it's oh, just a in a cool point. little twine yeah. or in a brown, you know, something that... We've looked at... Artsy. Like artsy. Yeah, like a cardboard frame. As in it's like, like, I don't know, cardboard. some shirts are, like, if it's cool. if it's wrapped up crappy, it's it feels crappy. If it's wrapped up hip, it feels hip. We yeah, we uh, did discuss like shipping, um, and we haven't like figured that part out. We know we want to make the boxes or the packages yeah. look nice, yeah. and we'll have like about us sheets in there, so right. it'll give. It won't just be a T-shirt. We'll it'll talk also... to you about our idea. <laughs> okay, so we have yeah. a simple one. On top of that, we've also kind of looked at companies like Vineyard Vine, who kind of have like high-end looking T-shirts as well as packaging, and we're thinking that not necessarily for MVP, but in the future. We are considering definitely the packaging as well as putting like a sticker or something along with it. I'm glad you're thinking about that because you can literally go into a Walmart and exactly. see shirts, mm -hmm. and you can literally go into Vineyard Vine and see shirts of the exact same quality, <laughs> yeah. but one just feels like I gotta have it, and the other's exactly. like I would never wear it. Yeah. And, that is <laughs> and it's all marketing. Mm -hmm. So I'd only wear the Walmart ones. <laughs> That's what I mean. <laughs> Target market. <laughs> <laughs> it's cooler if you like. Yeah. So who are your contacts at the other high schools? Oh, just like the main like head of the art department. So yeah, the teachers. So we talked to the main art department. Um, we emailed um, Hoffman Estates and it was um, Dundee Crown. So we emailed them and we talked to the head of the art department and then we actually went in and talked to Baritons and um, Jacobs. Jacobs. Awesome. Cute, awesome. cute name opportunities. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. By the way, okay. sorry, I was going to mention it was an Arizona-based t-shirt company that has a name. Just FYI. Oopsie. Okay. Oh, okay, so good. You get to good. change it. I was going to say that. Because I like Save the Arts or something. I like a, a name that is a little bit more uh, like catchy, artsy, artsy that, that identifies yeah. your cause. Yeah, opportunity okay. is like for whom? Right. For, the for, the art, for the arts. No, I understand that, but for a marketing standpoint. Uh, yeah, it doesn't really, you know, it actually sounds too capitalist. It's thing. about who's buying. They it's not about the artist. Yeah. It's you're marketing to buyers, not artists. So. But you're mar you're marketed if it works. The person that's motivated to buy that shirt wants to make a statement that they care about high school art. Yeah, safety arts T is actually a good name. I mean, come up there, come up with a you know variation, yes. but the concept is good. And this is a branding play as much as it is a t-shirt play. Mm -hmm. It's all a branding play. So your play. logo, um, think about, um, oh gosh, what was the t-shirt company powered by Optimism? Um, Life's Life's good t-shirts. Life they, is good, yeah. They, they had a distinctive look on their art, on their graphics. And we kind of have it so like the person, the artist designs it and it goes onto the t-shirt and then we get back. Gotcha. So well, you'll need to I know you put a lot of work into that because you can tell how thoughtful it is, but if you're in a name infringement yeah, and you're getting you feedback that it might not be as yeah. catchy, right, right, right. that's the problem when you do a startup. You fall in love with an idea yeah. and then you find out from the marketplace that you're wrong and you have to change yeah, and it really insane. stinks because yeah. you have yeah. to redo it. Mm -hmm. So but that's life. So. Well, thank you.
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. what do you, Ford, what do you want to do with I'd go, I'd get the hot press and do it. I think that. Yeah, because I think we're going to get our money back and then, yeah. and uh, you guys will probably be able to launch this. Yeah. At pitch night, you'll be there saying, I wouldn't even need any money because we've already self-funded with how many people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's three things to 65. Let's talk about the package. Okay. <laughs> yeah, put it in the packaging. Yeah, actually, because this is part of it. I got a number. <laughs>